every day we are breaking down for you what is fact and what is fiction when it comes to the coronavirus. Channel 11's Angie Moreski here now with a look at the information circulating about our pets and coronavirus. Angie. Our furry friends are such a big part of our lives and a lot of us are worried about how coronavirus impacts them. So can they get coronavirus or transmit the virus? We talked to a vet to find out. It's a concern for many with pet owners posting pictures of their dogs and cats practicing social distancing right along with their humans. Worries peaked this week after a dog in Hong Kong whose owner had it tested weak positive and died after being released from quarantine. It's a good idea to social distance your pet, quarantine your pet if you are ill. But while concern is good for now, it's not believed our dogs and cats can carry or transmit the virus. Right now the World Health Organization is saying no, our pets cannot carry this virus, they cannot transmit this virus, and they're not at risk for developing the disease COVID-19. And as for putting those masks on our pets, is that necessary? It's not necessary, and it's really not necessary for humans to do that either. And it's actually more stressful for your pet to put something like that on their face for no reason. More important is trying to keep their routine as normal as possible and staying up to date on regular care. As the weather is warming up, they are exposed to fleas and ticks and mosquitoes. And so keeping up with their preventative care. And it's also a good idea to wash your hands after petting and playing with your pet. And one more claim that's causing confusion tonight, that ibuprofen can make COVID-19 symptoms worse. There was a report out of France that said that it did. But as of now, that is believed to be false. There is no strong evidence to support that. And the WHO does not recommend avoiding ibuprofen. But if you're concerned, you can take acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, instead. Angie Moreski, 11 Investigates.